In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains lay a dense forest, untouched by time and civilization. The locals whispered tales of the Whispering Grove, a place where the trees were rumored to hold secrets, and the very earth seemed to breathe with a life of its own. Meet Samuel, a rugged geologist with an insatiable curiosity. He had spent his career studying rock formations and caves, but the legends of the Whispering Grove beckoned to him. Determined to uncover the truth, he ventured deep into the heart of the forest, armed with his knowledge and an unwavering resolve. The forest was unlike anything Samuel had ever seen. The trees were massive, their trunks twisted and gnarled, and their leaves a deep, unnatural shade of green. The air was thick with an otherworldly stillness, broken only by the distant, eerie whispering that gave the grove its name. As Samuel delved deeper, he noticed strange markings etched into the tree bark. They appeared to be symbols, ancient and cryptic, as if they held the key to a hidden language. Samuel meticulously documented each one, driven by an insatiable curiosity to decipher their meaning. The days turned into weeks, and Samuel's obsession grew. He became convinced that the Whispering Grove was not a mere forest but a living entity, an ancient being that had existed long before humanity. The whispers that filled the air seemed to be a form of communication, a language that only the trees understood. One fateful night, as Samuel sat by his campfire, he heard the whispers grow louder, their voices more urgent. It was as if the grove itself was trying to tell him something, to reveal its secrets. With trepidation, he followed the voices deeper into the forest, guided by the eerie glow that emanated from the trees. He soon arrived at a clearing, bathed in an otherworldly light. In the center stood a massive tree, its trunk covered in the same cryptic symbols Samuel had been documenting. As he approached, he felt a presence, a consciousness that transcended his understanding. With trembling hands, Samuel reached out and touched the tree's bark. In that moment, a flood of images and emotions rushed through his mind. He saw the history of the grove, the countless souls who had ventured in and never returned. He felt the grove's ancient wisdom and its longing to be understood. As Samuel's consciousness merged with the grove, he realized the terrible truth. The Whispering Grove was a sentient entity, a guardian of the Earth's secrets. It had allowed him to come closer than any before, but now it demanded a price. Samuel's own consciousness was to become a part of the grove, his knowledge and curiosity merging with its ancient wisdom. In a desperate bid to escape, Samuel tried to pull away, but it was too late. His body crumbled into dust, and his essence merged with the grove, becoming a part of its eternal consciousness. The whispers in the air grew quieter, their urgency fading as Samuel's knowledge became a part of the grove's vast repository of wisdom. The following day, when the locals ventured into the forest, they found no trace of Samuel, only the eerie, cryptic symbols etched into the tree bark. The whispering grove had claimed another soul, adding Samuel's knowledge to its ancient storehouse of secrets. And so, the whispering grove remained an enigma, a place where the boundaries between the natural world and the supernatural blurred. Samuel's sacrifice had unlocked the grove's ancient consciousness, but at the cost of his own existence. The whispers continued, their voices carrying the weight of centuries of knowledge and the price of curiosity.